the wires here secure. And you can see this. There is um. There's a little um metal clip here that um, clip this carpet into you know lock the carpet in place so I'm just prying these two metal clip up and then try to pry the carpet over that Here we go. So you can see now I can remove the carpet. So one more here. up there's one more here so that one is up so now I can poke the carpet completely remove from whatever attachment that's underneath so that's how um, how you get to the how you get beneath this carpet and also to the front here You can see the wiring is coming in from there. From the top there, you can see a bunch of wire. So I can use this hanger, and you can see I can pull the hanger to push the wire through here too. And If I didn't want to go to the bottom, I can just do this. I can just uh, feed the wire through here and then coming down to here. I don't have to deal with this at all. But uh, I still need to. Well, that only take care of the power to get into the car. And then I still need to go through this. Um, yeah, I still need to go through this to get down, to get down to the, um, to the back of the, to the, underneath the truck and then get to the, uh, truck bed. So, I still need to get to this. So, okay. So, at least, uh, now the power can come in from there. Which is good. Okay, you can see. It's right almost at the edge of the, uh, this grommet is right at the edge of the driver's seat, you know. So I just pull this plug out and you can see all the wirings are coming from this. And let me show you underneath the truck and see, see that hole there? That's where the wire is supposed to go in, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be, you know, this, this wire is going into the, um, inside the truck through that hole of the floor there. That's what I'm going to be doing, so the wire is going to come in from here. And then out there to go to the battery. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. The grommet is here. 
you can see that burn right there. If I can uncover this carpet, this carpet, you can see that's a grommet there. It's a grommet there. Let's see. That's a grommet there. So I'm going to use a coat hanger to pu push the wire through here. Then get to the uh, engine side. That's uh, how I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do it over time. gonna interfere any of these wires because I don't know what these wires are for so I'm just gonna wire a uh, wire through that hole with a fuse to connect to the 12 volts battery separately without interfering with any of these Wire. And I'm going to install the rocker panel switch right here. This is Shift L and the emergency there. But I'm not going to touch those. I'm going to come to here. And I see this is my fog light. I'm going to try to come to here and install. Install the, the reverse light switch here. Maybe over here. Maybe over here too. I don't know, maybe over there. Maybe over here. In here. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a switch here. I'll make a hole here. install that switch here this is how I uh, do it I just poke my screwdriver through the grommet and I use my coat hanger try to you know stick around this uh, screwdriver or try to uh, poke it through following about the general direction on my screwdriver and uh, looks like it went through so I'm going to go um, outside and take a look to see how it looks and then I'm going to try to pull the power line in through there and, uh, and now you can see this one is my coat hanger and this one is the screwdriver So the wire is going to go back in um, from those two holes. Okay, so. And, uh, Actually, have this wire as the
So this wire, this wire is actually to the positive, and this wire is the to the relay, which is the to the to the what do you call that? The um, fog light. You know, right now it's not connected, but uh, I'll be connecting that so. I can tap into that, but I don't want to. I just want to, you know, have a separate independent wire from directly from the from the positive battery positive there, you know. And then this is the power wire that's gonna go through the grommet there, and then into the car, um, and then gonna have a fuse for this. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay. Tape. Tape this wire to the uh, tip of the screwdriver and then I try to push it through. Try to push it through. And hopefully it will go through. So I'm going to go inside and then try to pull from the inside and hopefully uh, it will go in. Success with the painter tape. As you can see there, I was able to get this wire through that grommet. Okay, so that's a success. That's how you do it. See that? with the ta painter tape, tape to the screwdriver. Painter tape, tape to the screwdriver. And I was able to get this uh, wire through that grammar. Grammar, you know, it's a painter tape. Tape to the end of this big screwdriver. This is a slotted screwdriver, you know, so. That's how you do it. Painter tape is really strong, by the way. You know? And you need a big, strong screwdriver, too. You know, so that's how you do it. Okay, you can see that grandma hole. It's pretty tight. And I was able to pull it through using this uh, painter tape. So I'm gonna remove the painter tape and then uh, connect this power to I'm gonna install a rocker I'm gonna install this power to uh, to a switch here so I can turn on and turn off this uh, switch to the truck bed okay.